Good morning, my Tubies and my TikTokers. Sheila, true love here with you. Today is Friday. We made it. Friday. Today I will cook something in my air fryer. <laughs> How about that? Today we are going to focus on you're not stuck, you're going through. And this is from Habakkuk. H-A-B-A-K-K-U-K. We're not used to using that. Uh, at least I'm not. I'm not used to uh, reading from Habakkuk. And this is Habakkuk 319, where it says, The Lord gives me strength. He makes my feet as sure as those of a deer. And he helps me stand on the mountains. We will all go through situations in life, some bad, some good. Many times we think the phrase, I'm going through something is bad news. But if we view it properly, we realize going through is a good thing. It means we are not stuck. We may be facing difficulties, but at least we are moving forward. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon you. God's word here is very clear. We will go through things. We will face adversities in our lives. That's not necessarily bad news. That's just reality. Let me repeat. We will go through things in life. But the things we go through are the very circumstances, challenges, and situations that make us people who know how to overcome adversity. We do not grow or become stronger during life's good times. We grow and become stronger when we press through difficulties without giving up. Growth is not an automatic result of difficulties. Hardships do not necessarily produce growth or strength in us. It is not that simple. We must choose the right attitude toward our challenges and we must refuse. And this is the important part. We must refuse to give up and refuse to quit. We may have to do what is right for a long time. You're doing right for a long time before we feel it is paying off. But if we stay faithful and refuse to give up, good results will come. That's a promise from God and Jesus Christ. Once we get through the adversities and challenges we face, we emerge as better people than we were when we went into them our hardships, our difficulties. We are going to come out as better people. We're definitely going to come out stronger. So I want us to focus and be determined that we will go through all the, all the way through every difficulty in life. Determine that you will go all the way through every difficulty you face in life and make a decision now to keep going forward Trusting in God and Christ, no matter how difficult it is, because you know they will be with you and you will grow in your faith as a result. You will learn how to trust them when you see how they get you through your difficulties. Now, how was that for you, my darlings, for this fine Friday morning? Let's do your favorite part, I hope. Bible trivia. Okay, no more clapping. Stop the applause. Stop the applause. No more clapping. Yes, yes, I'm getting to your favorite part. Okay, are you ready? What are these? Okay. How was God's first promise of a Savior fulfilled? You can find that answer at John chapter 12, verse 31. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. Next question is a quotation question. Quote the verse that says, Jesus is always the same. I already have it. You can find it in the book of Hebrews chapter 18. Now find the verse. 
Lastly, what is Jesus' title of humanity? What is his title? Well, I'm going to give you that one. It's called Son of Man. Because I don't have a reference to give that to you. I can't find that scripture. Let, next. What promise did God make to Abraham? You can find that promise at Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. Let's see how well you do. Let's see. So I tell you, when they play Bible trivia, you're going to be ready, baby. You are going to be ready. Now, what I want you to do is to not give up and to keep in mind that Satan the devil is very busy and he can inject thoughts into your mind just like a drug. Your mind can become filled with a bunch of nonsense and wrong thinking. He likes to keep your mind busy because if he can control your mind, he can control your life. So meditate on God's way and Jesus Christ's way of thinking and Holy Spirit will push those thoughts right out of your mind. To do this, you have to take in spiritual food daily. You must read God's word every single day. Just like you eat physical food every day, you have to have your spiritual food each and every day. And that's what's going to empower you to push out these negative and harmful thoughts. Satan is very, very crafty. Very crafty. Anyway, I want you to have a great day. Say Friday. It's going to be a good day. Yes, it's going to be a great day. Jehovah loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. And yes, Sheila True Love loves you very much.